Are you in a couple looking for a third? Or are you single and searching for a dating app that actually encourages you to embrace your sexual side? Field values sex positivity and encourages you to share your desires and interests directly to your profile. You can share freely about how traditional or how kinky you may be. And here's some great news. You can download the app for free by going to field.co. Just click on the link in our episode description to get the Field app for free today. What's like the best way to please you as a woman? Oh gosh. Like, cause you know, different, that's the thing too. I think a lot of guys think that like every woman's the same in terms of what they like and that's not true. So what yeah. particular to you is. I've wondered why men think that. And I think it's because, um, all dicks are different too, but it's the basics, you know, it's just the basics when you play with the dick. I, I could get any dick hard mm-hmm. without you telling me exactly what you're into, mm-hmm. I think. But, um, every vagina is is very different for me. I'm so lucky. I'm so sensitive and so multi-orgasmic. And, um, a lot of it is mental for me too. Like a lot of it is like, Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Like Mm -hmm. onset or off. Mm -hmm. Um, so like physically, what can you do? Gosh, I'm so easy. Like, I love kissing every scene partner. When you were talking about the big dicks and bodies mashing into mm-hmm. each other, I was talking about this during my live show last night too because I said some performers try to avoid kissing or don't kiss. I said, if you're going to do a scene with me, we're going to make out like it's high school. Mm-hmm. And sometimes like we'll be in the middle of fucking and – I could feel them trying to pull away to create that separation for the Mm -hmm. camera to come in. And sometimes I'll even hear the uh, director say, open up, which means separate as much as you can beside your genitals and let the cameraman in. And sometimes Mm -hmm. a guy holding a light and five other guys. (laughs) (laughs) And um, they'll go to pull away to do their job. And I just pull them in closer, just mash my face in them. Yeah, I'm going to get some of mine this time too. But um, I've come in almost all of my scenes and I'm very multi-orgasmic and um, I've had a few performers, but a lot of directors be like, Aaliyah, you could tone it down a bit. We don't need you coming that much. Or Aaliyah, um, you could be quiet. Or there's one director who won't hire me anymore because he only shoots in hotel rooms. And he's always like, the scene you did for us is one of everyone's favorite scenes, but you're just too loud. And I said, I'll be more quiet this time. He said, no, you won't. So um, I'm very over the top in my scenes and in personal life, but it's, I'm not faking it. That's just how I am. And Sex is kind of like a a chance to be dramatic and over the top and, Mm -hmm. I like that. (laughs) It means like the ultimate connection between two people. Yeah. So I'm turned on so easy. If you kiss me, if you look me in the eye, if you talk dirty to me, any sort of pussy looking gets me going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm really easy. But I always say, um, if you want to know how to please your woman, just ask her. And she might be too shy to just say with words. I've, I've been, I remember before porn guys, guys saying that, like, what do you want me to do to you? And I was like, I, I, I don't know. Like, God, why are you putting me on the spot? No, I feel weird. And awkward. <laughs> oh my God. Now I don't feel sexy. At all. Um, just do it. Just do whatever you're going to do. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just lost my train of thought. So ask her, but if she's too shy to tell you with words, she will tell you with body language. When you go down on a girl, they try really hard to show with their body or sounds mm-hmm. what they like and what they don't, I think. You know, yeah. some girls will grind their pussy into you more or move away a little bit or yeah. – encourage you or get louder so you gotta ask them every vagina is different I can't even figure some of them out yeah you know I had a a great episode with Melanie Curtin last week actually if you haven't listened to it you should go check it out she's a sex researcher and she's done a lot of studies on men and women and you know what women like and how to improve your sex life and and you know men dealing with you know issues in the bedroom erectile dysfunction whatnot She's done a ton of research 
and we were just talking about how, um, you know, men can get aroused, I think in like five minutes or something is sort of the average women can take anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes to become fully aroused. Yeah. So first of all, I think that's such an uneven playing field. I'm like, why did God or Sheree DeVille, whatever you want to call him, (laughs) um, (laughs) why Why did they, why why did they make it so uneven between men and women? That's such bullshit. It's like really unfair. And also why does it have to take us so long? Like, I mean, I know for you, it sounds like it's not that way, but it is for me. It does take me a while, which is why I, one of the reasons I can never be a performer because like I am, I am hard. I'm a, I'm a difficult key, lock, key to unlock, lock to unkey, lock to unlock. <laughs> let's, let's just go with that lock to unlock. Um, <clears throat> but uh, do you, and we, and we talked a lot about porn and like, you know, people's, um, the way that it's influenced people who may not like have any knowledge, mm, mm. no sex education, um, do not no us. idea Don't. about communication. So I was going to ask you, like, do you think that porn negatively affects a way a lot of men like think women want to be pleased? Yes, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> in every sense of the word, um, if you're not going to watch a violent movie of a guy running down a street, shooting guns at people and jumping out of helicopters or whatever, If you're not going to go out and do that the next day, don't watch me fucking on camera. Uh, We probably fucked for an hour and a half and they edited it down to the best 35 minutes and did close-ups and far aways and do not imitate what I'm doing on camera. Just like we said, the separation and the opening up. Mm -hmm. And um, the guy's hand behind the back. Oh yeah. This whole yeah, always, yeah. Like, <laughs> like they're hiding something. Or <laughs> I feel like they're about to take a bow, like they're just yeah, <laughs> yeah, like they're uh, a butler, like waiting. Yes. <laughs> Here's your penis, madame. Um, Please suck it. <laughs> yeah, but like, um, yeah, we're doing this for entertainment, and we're doing sex the best way we can to make you horny and come. We're not showing you sex education and so, so many things that I've done on camera. Um, I would never ever do off camera, not because I didn't enjoy it, but, um, for so many reasons. And, uh, I learned that the hard way before I got into porn, there was this certain type of porn that I liked. And when men would ask, I would always say, I'll tell you what I like but I would never, ever do this and I would never want it done to me. Mm -hmm. And every guy I ever told that to ended up trying to do that shit to me. And all the way down to speech. Like I've had guys on Twitter come and say like the most obscene things to me. And I'll be like, is this is how, is this how you're introducing yourself to me? Mm -hmm. And they'd be like, oh, I thought that would turn you on because somebody called that to you in a video, called you that in a video. I'm like, yes, but I knew that person for 10 years and um, we discussed it ahead of time. That's a lot, you know, we've we've been reiterating this for years. So I'm sure everyone listening knows by now, but everything we do is not only practice is not only discussed ahead of time, but it's also practiced. Like any crazy move you see where I'm being picked up or pushed against a wall or flipped around. We practice it ahead of time. Like that scene in Boogie Nights <laughs> with uh, Dirk Diggler and Roller Girl. And he's like, okay, how about we do the doggy and then we flip her into this and then we won't have to cut it all. We do that. Like I'll say, like yesterday I was shooting for myself and I said, well, we need to discuss where the cum shot is because that's going to determine our last position. And okay, if that's our last position, what's going to be our first? Okay, we want to do this in one cut. So where, and we were shooting with a camera, a phone. So where can you hold the phone while I'm making this awkward transition of flipping around and you're moving this way without catching that mirror over there? Mm -hmm. So it's all planned out and discussed ahead of time and yeses and noes. And if you see somebody getting rough with me, it's because we discussed it. If you see somebody choking me, literally, I've taken their hand and gone, can I go this hard? Can I go this hard? You can go this hard. Mm -hmm. If you go too hard, I will pinch you you, Mm -hmm. or I will do this. 
or I will wave, cut, cut. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't think sex should be porn. I don't think porn should be sex education at all. Mm-hmm. And even if your partner is freaky or likes watching porn with you or says she's says they are into something like that, just talk to them and ask them. Just like vaginas, everyone's different. But the sex I have on camera is, is nothing like the sex I have. It's camera. also like kind of somebody I interviewed once compared it to like WWE wrestling or WWF. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what, what, the wrestling, the fake wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> Don't call it fake. Some people get pissed. <laughs> um, because there are moves that you do that look a certain way, but they're not a certain way. So you can do what looks like an insane choking thing. And it's actually not that much pressure. Or you can do the hair pulling where you don't actually pull, you actually push like the mm-hmm. the hand against the head, so it looks like you're pulling hair, but you're not. And then the the girl will pull her head back like she's having her hair pulled, but she's doing that. Yeah. So like, there's moves that we do that make it look a certain way, but it's not. Are you in a couple looking for a third, or are you single and searching for a dating app that actually encourages you to embrace your sexual side? Field is the alternative dating app for couples and singles. As the largest dating community of progressive humans across the globe, Field connects the curious and the open-minded. Field has built a community for awesome, ethical, like-minded people who can explore their sexuality with others free of judgment or shame. Whether you're into cuddles and long walks on the beach or shibari and BDSM, Field welcomes it all. You can share freely about how traditional or how kinky you may be. The app is inclusive to all, no matter your gender or orientation. When you join, you can choose from over 20 sexual and gender identity options. And here's some great news. You can download the app for free by going to field.co. Just click on the link in our episode description to get the Field app for free today.